parents who host lose the most. Don't be a party to teenage drinking. It's against the law. All right, go ahead and introduce yourself and let us know kind of what's I'm going on here. I'm Gary Wilfong from Bay Area Turtle and Tortoise Rescue, and I'm half the organization. Ginger's my other half. She's in watching a ball game, probably. Yeah, she likes baseball. And um, we're in Castor Valley. We've been here since 87, been crazy. We were here longer than that, but we weren't crazy at first. If you had to guesstimate... Um, we have turtles and tortoises, uh, you know, rescues and, and ones that we breed. Um, we had just a couple of desert tortoises since I was in high school. And uh, we're just, you know, somebody would say, oh, I've got a couple and i got a couple. And they were mainly redfoots. We'll see those in the other yard. I mean, red, red ears, rather, redfoots. Uh, these are baby box turtles. Uh, those both look like three toes. And... Um, they're from last year, and uh, they start out the size of about a dime, and now they're about the size of a quarter. <laughs> and uh, they'll be big enough pretty soon. And this guy there is just eating. That's a mellow plant right in front of him, the leaves, and the regular grass is tall fescue grass, which is native to Africa. And these guys are from Togo, Mali, Kenya, all through Central Africa, so that's native to what they eat at home. Um, you, you don't want to put much weight on like a cicada this size weighs 200 pounds, five or 600 pounds would be more than what he could take really. If I ever get that fat, shoot me. But um, anyway, um, Buki's like I say, he's our pet. And uh, you can understand when I go to zoos and I do this, you know, oh, you're going to hurt the tortoise. The tortoise is not even bothered. Other tortoises climb on him. We've got video of lions attacking meat and the tortoises come in and eat the meat and the lions come back and try and get the tortoises off and the tortoises just close up and lay there until the lions are tired and then they come out and eat some more. They will eat carrion, They're, they'll eat whatever's lying around. And Burmese actually, we used to have them get up in that tree and I had to cut some limbs off it because they were getting up in the tree and trying to drop on other things, you know. They are in the Southeast Asia and uh, Thailand and Vietnam and all those countries in there where they come from, they actually get up in trees and attack things. When you get a 50 pound tortoise falls on you, you're gonna, <laughs> he's gonna eat you, you know. We got an MOU with Fish and Game and Memorandum of Understanding with Fish and Game and Fish and Wildlife and all the animal controls around and everything. And the Alameda County Animal Control comes here once a year and inspects us and says we have 125 plus. It's more like 200, but that's okay. And uh, she gets tired of counting at 125. And uh, they bring us animals too. So, um, animal and dog, you know, rescues and that don't really know anything about turtles and tortoises. So it's better to to uh, have us here than have them trying to do it. And uh, most of them have realized that um, they're just a totally different animal. And you can't keep them with dogs or cats because they'll eat the poop and get sick from it. How often do you receive phone calls from from other agencies? For During the winter, it's pretty quiet because tortoises are mainly sleeping. But um, the rest of the year, you never know. Fishing game can bring us 150 in one whack. And, uh, you know, we've gotten 50 from Johannesburg, South Africa. We got 70 from uh, uh, Denmark. And uh, we've gotten tortoises from all over the place, Southeast Asia, and just anywhere that I run into them, they need rescuing. And the ones in Johannesburg were in a fire, had a lot of damage to their shells and that. And uh, we kept them, about 35 of them went out to zoos for breeding programs after they got rehabbed. This is Buki, he's 29 years old, he's our pet. We take him to zoos and parks and stuff. And he likes to carry kids around on his back. And he's got a really rough life, he has to come over here and eat and go back in there and sleep. And between the two, you know. And uh, he was uh, pulled out of the fire in 89 in Oakland. We sold him to a friend in there and the guy lost his house. And, saved Buki and his wife and kids. So he brought Buki back and never came back for him again. He said he had enough trouble raising his wife and kids. Now tortoises eat a lot of carrots, so they'll have good vision. You've never seen a tortoise with glasses, right? Um, this Russian here came in a while back, and if you notice, the legs, we're still working on toenails, you can only trim so much, but you can see the shell, you can actually feel it give. You can't see it really on camera, but you can feel it give. It shouldn't give. 
This desert tortoise here, you could stand on him and you wouldn't even bother him. He's hard as a rock. But this one is soft. And somebody raised it and didn't give it enough calcium or, or sunlight. Um, all tortoises need Mother Nature there, the old sun, S-U-N. And uh, if they don't get it either artificially with good light or, or the real thing, they end up with all kinds of terrible problems. And, uh, fish hooks? So, huh? Fish hooks? Yeah, fish hooks in their mouth. We, the lakes, they bring them down. The rangers bring them down here, and we take the fish hooks out of their mouths and do all kinds of things. And we have a uh, just a large quantity of animals that are mis mistreated and neglected. And, and uh, whenever we put the western ponds into a lake and a breeding program, it's a no fish lake, no fishing. There's fish live there for them to eat, but there's no people with hooks. How did you learn about caring for turtles and how easy I've is it for... I've worked with animals from high school on. I was in FFA and 4-H in high school, and I was a rabbit leader for 19 years in 4-H, and she became allergic to the fur on rabbits and that. So um, we had the tortoises, and I just kind of, they kind of developed more and more. We used to just be in this yard, and then eventually, boom. <laughs> and. Uh, Pretty much self-taught reading. Uh, we go to UC Davis and go to symposiums up there and stuff and learn and uh, talk to people all over the country. Yeah. So explain, to, ex explain to us quickly what these guys are doing here. Well, they're fighting. This is like um, Indian wrestling. And the loser will back up and go somewhere and the winner will go, ha ha, I beat you. And two weeks later they'll be back at it again. Parents who host lose the most. Don't be a party to teenage drinking. It's against the law.